these uh, Jubilees. Yeah, they came out there and everywhere else, but they have not come out here yet. So it's first come, first serve. I'll open at 10, a little late. And I'm out here in Springfield, Missouri. Old Springfield, Missouri. So hopefully, the Missourian people are not in this mall to get these shoes. So, I'm heading there now. And, um, hey, let's see what happens. Holla. kind of frigidly out here so I just want to give you a little footage but right? you know we're about to go in the battlefield mall check out see how I get these jubilees let's go they didn't have them yet but I'm not mad because my man said when they come in he's gonna call me because I came up here a couple of times my number is in the draw. This is not a game. I'm in the draw. So hopefully when I come back, well, hopefully he call me, then I get him. But until then, wah, 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 wah. What's up, what's up, what's up? I came to you today to show you some nostalgia pieces. Stuff that I, that me personally myself, I like, you know, I'm like, like I said, I like stuff from the 80s and the 90s. So I try to buy stuff from like the 80s and 90s. And, you know, growing up as a kid, I wasn't a rich kid. So I kind of buy the, the stuff that, you know, I wanted back then, you know, then I can get it now. So I got three things to show you. And I'm gonna start off with two jackets and then I got a pair of shoes to show you too because we're probably always going to have a pair of shoes to show. So we're going to have a pair of shoes to show and we're going to have two jackets to show. Let me get right into it. First, this was the Burlington Fine. Rug Rack. But you know, Royal Rex is the 90s, kind of late 90s, 2000s type, but what made it so, so, so iconic, you know, as far as the cartoon, it was, to me, it was who they hooked up with by making the jacket. They hooked up with members only. And members only, it was always a jacket I wanted, even back in the days, you know what I'm saying, like in the 90s, so you know, that was always, you know, this thing with Jack and everybody in the hood had one at the time. You had the members, members only. You had your shirt, your pants, and your kicks looking fly. You know, chain or whatever. So when I seen this, I was like, dang, that's the Rug Rats. But then I got to it and seen it was Rug Rats, and then it was members only. I said, oh, yeah, I got to get that. So, you know, I thought this out, brother. That was a good find, you know. Like I said, because it's, 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 this was something personal to me, you know, so I caught that. Then, furthermore, when I was looking, and I wasn't really trying to buy nothing, to tell you the truth. You know, I just like to go in there and look just to see what they have and see what's going on, you know. But I do like to find stuff for the low, you know what I'm saying, you know, copy it and get it and hold it down. So I came across this, the actual members only jacket. And when I seen it, I said, oh yeah. It just took me back in the time, it took me back to Brooklyn. It just took me, it just took me back. You know what I'm saying? It took me back in the day. So, you know, I had to get this uh, tonight jacket. The uh, quality of the jacket is nice. Inside feels good. It's more, it's not heavy, but you know, it's not gonna be, you're not gonna be cold in it, put it like that. But you know, it's a nice jacket and it feels good. I like how they got the, um, they, they kept the old with the scrap worn around the collar. So, and they kept the old with the buttons, you know, on the side and on the top shoulder piece. So, that's how I like it. Like I said, it's a good quality jacket. Feels good to wear, you know, looks good. Members only on the pocket. Always kept it like that. Inside, inside pocket, so, you know. 
And that's that. Now, since we're staying in the 90s, I mean, what can I say? We're going to stay in the 90s, and when I seen these shoes, I wasn't going to get them. I'm not even going to lie. I end up getting them gold toe ones that I um, get my first um, blog with for Kicks to the Streets. So I had got them. But then when I went back to the store and I looked at them again, I said, you know what? I can't do my man like that. Even though I am a Nike man to the soul, I said, I can't do my man like that. Like he earns a spot in my closet. He was one of my favorite players. So, champs. Don't bug out, y'all. It's okay. It's for nostalgia. It's the, it was it's what it was in the nineties, so it was one of the top rated shoes in the nineties, one of the top selling shoes in the nineties. Like everybody had them. So, matter of fact, I give you a little clue. Uh, what my boy named Jada Kiss did a video with him. Fuck his shoes. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Bam. I say bam. So we have what they call them. What they call? Them. Oh yeah. Right. See the reason I look in the box is because I call them the Georgetown Hoyas. You know what I'm saying? Because you know he went to Georgetown. This is the colors of Georgetown. But they're called the question nibs. And I wonder do they still have the hexalite? Remember when they first came out, John, they had the hexalite in the inside. So I don't even know if they still have the hexalite in the inside, but I still know that you see you still see the honeycomb beehives. And you know what I'm saying, of course the bottom's rebop, you know. But I do like the shoe. I've always liked the shoe. I like Obviously as a player. He was one of my favorite players growing up. To me, he's the best, he is the third best shooting guard. He is not a point guard, he is a shooting guard. But we're not gonna get into that. Just, we're just not gonna do that right now. So don't leave me alone, don't, don't put all that in my comments. But um, yeah, so I caught these, you know what I'm saying, like I said, for nostalgia. I, I like Iverson. I probably wouldn't even wear these shoes, keeping it real. Like, I would wear them one time because I bought them, but I think these are going in my man cave. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put them in the glass with like two or three pairs of Jordans. And I got another pair of shoes that I want to get to put in my man cave in the glass. So, you know, it's going to be for my man cave. But enough for the rambling. Like I say, blue toe. It's a very, it was, I put my foot in here though, I did. It's a very comfortable shoe. I'm not even going to lie. The material is very good. The sewing in material, the sewing is very good. No flaws in the shoe. I like how it do have the Reebok going down. I wish these was the Jordan Jubilees going down, but hey, <laughs> I had got these, you know. And like I say, and see, you see the H for the Hoyas? See, that's what I thought they would be called, the, you know what I'm saying, the Hoyas or the Georgetown's or something like that. But the question is, is what they're called in. It is what it is. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. But, packing these up. I'm going to put these up. And before I go, I just want to tell you thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. So, subscribe, like, comment. And also, I'm going to be having giveaways. Giveaway, 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 free, free, free giveaway. Might be shirt, might be pants, it might even be a new pair of sneakers. You never know. So watch, like, share, even comment. Let me know what you think I'm doing good, what I can do better. Hey, this is for me, this is for you, this is for us. I'm out.